All right, here we go. Yay, we solved that machine. But as our robot buddy says, there's something missing. Now let's fix this machine, which looks like it's a spinning wheel. Spinning and spinning and spinning. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm having the same selection problem. I'm going to stop recording. All right. That's not a spinning thing. That's a, that's a loom. That's what that is. Uh-huh. And it looks like it uh, left some pieces for us to use on the uh, other machines. All right, now what's this? Some sort of steam engine? Looks like some sort of steam engine to me. All right, come on, come on. There we go. Good. I believe this goes here. Or perhaps this goes there. And there we go, the steam engine. Which is useful for transportation, and it's often identified as one of the uh, main inventions in the Industrial Revolution. Huh? Can I not go to the other room? I want to go back to the other rooms. There we go! Let's go back to the other rooms. For our first invention, I believe there was a piece missing, right? Uh-huh. And? Am I supposed to use part one, part two, and part three on this exhibit? Huh! Hey, everybody! Michael back. Uh, I spent ten minutes wandering around. Turns out there's a fourth room that I completely overlooked. That was my problem. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to solve the uh, puzzle here in this fourth room. And that looks like it's relatively easy to place. That goes right there. That looks very hard to place. I don't know where that would go. This looks like it might go here. That looks like a wheel apparatus to me. And does this go in here? <laughs> Alright, so this is... I'm not quite sure. Oh. So this is a uh, help start cars. What's the name of this? An internal combustion engine designed by James uh, Lenoir of Belgium. Nice. That's very interesting. Okay, so now that I've fixed all three of those, uh, all three of those, I can now take my parts and use them to build the uh, machine in the first room. Let's just uh, abuse the help. Ah. And this must go here. Here? Ooh, I'm not sure where this goes. No, it doesn't go there. It doesn't, it doesn't... Oh, it goes inside there. There we go. And as you can see, the steam is powering this device. All right, all the machines from the Industrial Revolution are chugging away. Let's go! All right, so as I said, that is going to be the last of the uh, puzzle ones. Now the other exhibits, the last four exhibits, are going to be... Uh, they're going to be more 
interactive. We're going to have people to talk to. The first one being Galileo. We're going to talk about Galileo. Now this is when uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Galileo used a telescope to confirm that the uh, Earth travels around the Sun, not the other way around. Hey, Galileo. Ooh, yeah, very good thing. So he's doing his tests on gravity. That's very interesting. Let's talk to him some more. Uh-huh. Yeah, what happened to studying the planets, Galileo? Where's the telescope? Uh-oh. He hasn't done his telescope. So that's the problem with this exhibit. We have to get him to uh, build his telescope. Uh-huh. He needs to find something that reminds him about astronomy. Ooh, Copernicus! Now that's a very, uh, good idea. Now Copernicus, he came up with the theory that the, uh, doo -doo -doo, the Earth travels around the Sun. Uh-huh. But Galileo confirmed it, so that's very nice of him. Alright, so where do we find this book about Copernicus? Uh-huh, they're near the globe. Inside the library. Alright, so now this is a uh, maze. We have to navigate the maze in order to find where the... Uh... Oh, there's the Shakespeare section, I see. like the invention section? Is that a bat? I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Well, that doesn't look like it. Um... Now, as memory serves, here's the globe. Found it! And here is the book by Copernicus. Oh hey! Music! I like music. Now well, let's see if we can get out of here. No, that's not it. Is this it? I think this might be it. Is this the exit? This is the exit. Uh-huh. I hope so, too. Alright, let's get the uh, writings to uh, Mr. Galileo. Alright, a pendulum! Tick-tock, 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 tick Alright, so if we can find in the plants and the materials for a telescope, he'll build one. It sounds like, um, uh... It sounds to me like we're doing all the work. We're getting him all the materials, so he's just gonna put it together. Alright, now who's this? This is our buddy Hans Lippershey, who designed the uh, first telescope. Aha! He's going to help us find the lens. Uh-huh. 